to have had this opportunity to be your, your guide over these years, myself over the last year and a half, and to have met so, so many wonderful people like yourselves out there, so many people that you know, care about the wildlife and want to learn more about wildlife and just enjoy the whole community that these stunning creatures have actually brought together. I mean, I'm just, I'm still blown away that we, this, this technology is possible. I mean, we're sitting here in the middle of the bush in Africa, watching probably one of the most recognized animals on the planet in real time, doing what they do best. And there's no editing, there's no... You know, just, just drama going from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. You can actually see inside their lives for real. And I think that's what shakes people sometimes, because you're so used to documentaries where it cuts from one thing to another to another. You know, there's a story there, they've got to keep going. You know, keep people interested. But for people like yourselves who really appreciate the reality. I mean, this is a reality TV show. At the end of the day, this is reality. This is what life is like here in the bush. You get your slow days, you get the days where not much is happening, and then you get days where it's all the excitement. And that is the reality. And I think that is just what's so special, and the fact that you people who are tuning in all over the world get that and enjoy that shows something very, very special. I'm still not 100% sure who these ladies are. I think they could be the Salalas because of them coming in from the West. Elizabeth, good morning to you. And asking it, oh, look at that beautiful yawn. I think she's going to go and join the others under the bush. <laughs> well, that's one of the ways you can actually recognize them is, is looking at the canines. But she's still, she's quite a young female. Nice cat stretch. That's the ultimate cat stretch. And try and move forward a little bit so we can actually see them. Hopefully they won't go too far for us today. Really in need of a cat day today. Oh, what a perfect start. Hyenas let us down. But I'm just so glad we got to see a cat that's been missing MIA for a number of... Oh, sorry, Bug. Is this one of your longhorns? Play with it. Oh, wow. Hello, ladies. Can you see it nicely through there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't want to climb on my hand, he was running away. That is one of the longhorns though, isn't no, it? Magic one. That's my present to you, Mark. This is my present to you.
So Elizabeth, wanting to know about the females, are they better hunters than the males? Is it true? Um, no, not really. Males are actually good hunters themselves and they can and often do pull down animals such as buffalo. Sometimes they'll actually assist the females in the hunt, especially for the, the, the larger prey species. But the females will do a lot of the hunting and if males are with them, because males may be on their own defending their territory, but if they are with the females, it is true that sometimes they will let the females just go off and do the hunting while they preserve their energy. Because they do need to be able to defend their territory against other males, other rivals. So depending on the circumstance, they can help, they can leave the females to it. If they're on their own and they are hungry and the opportunity is there, then they will hunt for themselves as well. So it's, it's one of those misconceptions that's been passed down to us, I think, over the years. And again, I think through a lot of documentaries. And obviously it's got a lot to do with the technology and and the circumstance surrounding all of that as well. You know, I think through tourism and people actually wanting to go and see the animals in the wild and on safari, you know, there's a lot more guides out there, a lot more guides seeing, seeing these things and reporting these things and, and learning about these things and more guides are actually switching over into the documentary uh, industry and trying to tell the real stories um, and now the technology has got better they can follow the animals through uh, the night as well and they've actually found you know because when I was at school lions hunted during the day you always saw lions hunting on documentaries during the day but it's because the technology wasn't good enough to watch lions hunting at night and, and now we actually know that they do most of the hunting at night it's always been the case but it's not really been represented that well because of the technology. Can you get her through there? You're in the right angle to see the two girls. Well, not really. I mean, they could also be the Uncahumas. 